Small forward, six foot nine inches, number twenty two, Franz Wagner. At forward, six eleven, number one, Jonathan Isaac. At guard, six six, number thirty one. Terrence Ross! At guard, 6-2, number 50, Cole Anthony! At center, 6-10, number 34, Wendell Carter Jr. The head coach of your home team. Once again, your Orlando Magic. Welcome to 2K Sports, everyone. We have some exciting NBA action coming up. And our broadcast team tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Hey, Allie. VA technology is moving faster than ever. The new thing? Collectible highlights trading online. The players are taking notice. Shooting guard C.J. McCollum said, quote, a lot of players are inquiring about it. I've grown closer to the non-fungible tokens, trying to figure out what moments I should buy. Guys, he's a believer. Boy, he is a big thinker, no doubt about that. Good reporting there, Alan. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Desmond Bain. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. And the starting lineup for the Grizzlies. Jackson Jr. and Adams together inside. John ja Moran is out there with Desmond Bain. And it's Williams in at the three, the small forward. And for Orlando, Isaac and Carter up front. Terrence Ross is out there with Anthony. And it's Wagner in at the three. Boy, some coaches starting to feel the hot seat now, Grant. You think players are aware? When that's the case, no question, B.A. I mean, with how the present media is, it's impossible not to notice. But some coaches will discuss it and be open and transparent about it. And of course, some coaches won't ever bring it up. Now here's Jackson coming off a terrific game against New York. Left side, Williams over Wagner. Williams misses. Ross finds Anthony. Driving inside. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. Carter specializes in this. Competing on the glass and converting the second chance opportunity. Outside, Williams. Back to Moran. Oh, the block just stops it cold and takes possession. Here's Anthony. They grab their own miss. Isaac shot is off. Not the efficient start they were hoping for. Only one for four from the field. Here's Bain. And he sinks that one, That's hitting the back Bain. of the rim on the way in. I mean, what do you expect when you give him the clear look? That's just too easy. And early on, if you're him, you just want to see the ball go through the net and get into some kind of rhythm. The Grizzlies have gone one of three from the floor. Jackson, the pass to Adams. Outside, Williams. Morant with it, picked up by Ross. Clock at six. 
Shot's good by Moran. Look how Ja just glides through the contact. He's such a nimble player. Now Anthony, taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. Here's the three. He can't hit that time. Now Memphis takes it the other way. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the Magic this year. They dropped both games against this team last season. Just a shellacking they don't want to repeat. And the dunk by Jackson. You like how Adam surveys the whole floor, allowing him to spot the wide open man. Now here's Anthony. His last outing at 18 points. There's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. The Grizzlies have gone three of five shooting so far. Outside Moran. Pass to Williams. And here's Jackson. Isaac covering. Jackson against Isaac. Just five on the clock. Jackson can't get it to go. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. You know, Wendell Carter Jr., he's a very solid defender. He doesn't get a ton of blocks in the box scores, but contests and changes a lot of shots. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Now here's Ross. No good off the back of the rim. On the wing, Bain. Inside. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And with Carter Jr., he isn't a big numbers guy, Smitty, but the defense is effective. But what he is is a very strong rebounder on that end. Probably won't win defensive player of the year, but he's a net positive on D. And he makes a first. You know, guys, a fun fact about Steven Adams, he was the first New Zealander to ever get picked in the first round of the draft, and he continues to represent his home country well. That one's no good. Orlando trailing here. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question, way too many empty possessions for them. A sloppy turnover. When you're not locked in, pay the price. Well, the Grizzlies shooting 43% to get this one underway. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Anthony against Moran. Back to Bain. Over Ross. The second effort. And it's finished off Jackson inside by Jackson. Jackson's got his second basket on the night. Boy, this is what a diverse skill set buys you. Jackson with so many options after corralling the miss. Anthony misses. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Moran against Anthony. Pass to Bain. Back to Moran. Takes it inside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Orlando calls timeout. They're moving on after a tough loss they took at the hands of the Pacers. All right, and just far too many turnovers. You can't expect to win if you can't protect the ball. Aggressive is one thing. Careless is another. You want to stay balanced and poised. And here are the Magic now. Nine-point game. A shot to stop the drought. Carter 
Stopped. It's good on the putback. A strong, efficient score at the rim. Wendell Carter times the putback perfectly. Pass to Bain. Williams with it. Five to shoot. Did you see that? Oh, I saw it. Wow. And he saw it. And that one is hammered home. Wow. That type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Now here's Wagner. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Memphis ball. Steven. Lopez, he's checked in for Carter. Coming onto the floor for your magic. Robin Lopez. Orlando's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Out to the right wing. Now here's Wagner. Williams defending. Wagner inside. Working on Williams. Offensive rebound. Pass to Lopez. And another shot. And stolen by Williams. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Shots good by Moran. Moran. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Here's Anthony. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Into the lane. Off with the layup. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, John but it can result in missing everything. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Morant's gotten it done so far from the field, making four of his six attempts. Anthony finds Ross. Takes a 13-footer. Adams grabs the miss. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Stolen by Ross. Out left to the wing. Baseline jumper. Kept alive. Wagner up top. To the middle. Intercepted. Williams passes to Adams. And he was oh, fouled while well in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It goes on Terrence Ross. Inside, Stephen Adams is always ready for battle. And getting the shot off, Stephen like the foul. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Memphis. Guys, their willingness to attack the basket so far has been great. They're penetrating, finding the holes in the defense, and scoring from close range. Something else I like out of them so far. They're throwing their bodies around in the paint and scoring inside. The free throw drops for Adams. Orlando making some changes. Bomba's checked in for Isaac. Harris comes in for Ross. And it's Fultz in for Anthony. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. Orlando's gone 0 for 2 from outside. The three, here's Harris. Grizzlies with the rebound. Here's Bain, and he also played a big role in their last game of New York. And the foul on Gary Harris. That's his first foul. And Grant, you've been around the game in so many roles. Been a player, broadcaster, owner. Talk about how the game has grown and the opportunities for continued growth. Well, we know how the game here in the U.S. has really gained prominence and is hugely successful and popular. And I also think that's happened over the years globally as well. But continuing to popularize the game in Africa, India, China, and elsewhere is exciting. There are so many new frontiers for this league to grow, and I'm excited that we're moving forward in that direction. Now here's Harris. And Williams over to help. Outside Fultz. Pass to Bamba. To end the run. 
The Grizzlies pull it in. Adams has got his fourth rebound in this one. To the inside, Jackson. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. And here are the Magic now. Following the bucket by the Grizzlies. To the wing, right side. That three's off the mark. Five. Five. Wagner. It's three. The Magic making a switch here. Wagner's checked in. Now into the lineup for your Magic. Paul Wagner. The Grizzlies shooting a phenomenal 60% on the first. Fultz against Moran. Out to the right wing. On the wing, Bain. Over Harris. Releases from the wing and drills it. Bain's got his second basket. This is what I like about Ja Moran. He stays open to all options. Right there, finds the open man. And it's the Magic with the ball. They trail by 18. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Time called here. The Magic decide to talk it over. You know, one of the things that makes John ja Morant so special is his ability to drive and finish with either hand. A natural righty, but he actually prefers going left. Here's Fultz, and he gets that one. But Smitty, you look at Ja Morant's numbers. He's even better finishing with his left hand. It's special because around the rim, you don't know whether he's going to finish with his right or left. He makes it look so easy. Also passing, he can throw lobs and make hook passes with either hand. As a floor general, that's a tremendous asset. Harris can't get it to go. Make it him 0 for 2. Jackson outside. Outside, Williams, down low. Here's Adams, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Possibly the strongest guy in the league, Stephen Adams forces defenses to be assertive with him. Two shots. First one at the line is good. And Adams drops them both. Orlando has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Pass to Bamba. Wagner up top. And after missing his first three shots, he drains it. One for four. The Grizzlies shooting at around 59%. Their offense is clicking right now. And here is Williams. Here's Bain. Jackson left side. Pass to Moran. Fades. Goes back up. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Jaron Jackson, I think about his mobility on the defensive end. He can dart out to the perimeter shooters and recover to the paint better than most guys his size. That one falls for Jackson. Jaron Jackson Jr. is one of the most promising young big men that we have in this game, B.A. He's capable of spacing the floor and protecting the paint. Ross, he's checked in for Orlando. And so Jackson nails both of them. And those big men who block shots and shoot 
sometimes given the label unicorns. Would you say Jackson falls into that category, Smitty? Without question. And you can win with a player like Jamie Jackson. He doesn't need the ball in his hands to have a positive impact on this game. Here's Bain. The Magic making their last shot. Drives to the hoop. Oh, power down with both hands. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. And so here is Orlando after the basket by Memphis to the paint. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. And up the court come the Grizzlies on the break. Here's Moran. Back to Adams. Pass to Jackson. Outside for Moran. There's a minute 17 left to play in the first. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Harris outside. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Right side, Moran. Second shot opportunity, and Jackson Jackson's lays it in. Jackson Jackson's got 10 points in the game. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. Right side, Fultz. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. At the line for Orlando, Mo Bamba. Two shots. First free throw is good. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. Second free throw, no good. And he's one of those stat sheet stuffers. Kyle Anderson at 6'9 gives you rebounding, playmaking, grant a little bit of everything. I mean, the combination of size with skill is what makes him special. And his wingspan helps him impact the game in so many ways. And it's slammed in by Adams. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Bolts against Moran. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Ja Moran picks one up. At the line for the Magic. Markel full. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Timeout call. Timeout. Memphis. Memphis. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. But they were able All to right. focus Look and finish the task at hand. It was a terrific performance we got a chance to watch. They got into a nice rhythm and made smart adjustments along the way. Morant with it. On the wing, Bain. Up in time! And it's in! Oh! Nails the buzzer beater! Are you kidding? 
What a huge shot to beat the buzzer. My goodness. He had to rush that one a little, but terrific stroke from range. And that's it for the first quarter in what has been a very lopsided game. It's the Grizzlies delivering the blowout. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. And the fourth pick in 2018, Jaron Jackson Jr., the rare NBA-ready defender, he talked about where he can make the most impact. Uh, probably be more of a backline help, um, talk more, give more help for the rotations because, you know, depending on what team you play, there's a lot of specific things you got to do to guard a certain player. A veteran's understanding of help and positioning, Grant. Yeah, I love that defensive mind approach. That's why they're a team to be reckoned with. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And the Grizzlies have been rolling along, haven't they? That's <laughs> simple. Offensively, they limited their turnovers. Defensively, they forced turnovers. Winning the turnover battle here early on, and you see that reflected in the score. They've got Wagner. Markel Fultz is out there with Terrence Ross. Then it's Wendell Carter, and it's Harris in at the small forward position. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Magic. They get it back. The three, here's Harris. And it's Tillman with a rebound. The Grizzlies shooting has been excellent so far. Around 56% to the middle. The rebound by Ross. The Magic have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, Jonathan Isaac making his return from that knee injury he suffered in the bubble. Through the grueling rehab, he kept hope, kept the faith, and kept working to come back strong. He said it revealed another level of grit and grind inside of him. And guys, he's determined to come back better than ever. Thanks, Allie. And he makes it. What body control from Morant. Able to take the hit and power through it all. A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. Outside Ross. On the take. Up again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And <laughs> those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Williams on the wing. Pass to Tillman. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Outside Moran. Six to shoot on the wing vein. Rebound by the Magic. Memphis Ball. Desmond. So for the Magic, Isaac comes in for Harris. First and Anthony ball. subbed in for Ross. Substitution for your Magic. Jonathan Isaac. Cole the Magic Anthony. have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Anthony, left side. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Lopez, he's checked in for Orlando. Coming on to the floor for your magic, Robin Lopez. The Grizzlies on offense. Morant, the pass to Anderson. Back to Morant. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Here's Anderson. The shot misses. Now Orlando takes it the other way. And Kyle Anderson is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. A challenging stretch for Orlando here. They've only given up two points this quarter. Fultz into the lane. Carter inside. He's against Tillman. Defensively for Anderson, it's all about positioning. Does a good job there holding his ground. Pass to Tillman. Here's Bain. Anderson can't get it to go. And Orlando shooting a low 26% from the field. Moran against Anthony. Oh, stolen by Moran. Down low. And that one's good. The playmaking ability of Kyle Anderson combines great floor vision with his height and feel. 
Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Half to the outside. Outside, Fultz. Pass to Carter. And here is Williams. Here's Bain. Shoots over Lopez. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. Bain's got 11. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. And that one drops. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. The Grizzlies have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Moran against Anthony. Pass to Bain. Inside. Here's Tillman. So it'll be Man, two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You know, out of Michigan it's State, first. Xavier first Tillman, a five. winning player. He won't shock you with his athleticism, but I think he'll be in this league for a very long Xavier time. Tillman. You know, in college, Smitty, Tillman was one of the most effective players in the nation. Why do you think he fell to the second round? You know, I think it was some concerns about his upside, but those are gone right now. Right from his rookie season, he's showing he should have gone higher. Two shots. The first one falls. Wagner's checked in for Carter. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Clark is checked in for Anderson. And so he hits both. And for players these days, a lack of shooting can be a big hindrance. Grant, would you be more concerned by struggles from the perimeter or the free throw line? I'd be more concerned with struggles at the free throw line. I mean, if you struggle there, you can become very, very tentative out there on the court. And opponents can foul to force your hand. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Pass to Bain. Williams on the wing. To the inside. And he makes it on the layup. Xavier Tillman. Tillman's got six points in the quarter. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. The Magic have gone five of ten in the second quarter. Now here's Wagner. Outside Fultz. Back to Wagner. Over Williams. And that one hits the back iron. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Clark outside. Pass to Bain. Back to Clark. Shot clock at six. Uses the glass on the layup. Clark's got his first bucket in this one. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. So it's Orlando now. Now Anthony. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And they get it back. Now here's Fultz. Williams on the wing. Clark. Oh, rejected by Isaac. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. They're still looking for his first bucket. You can't put all their struggles on him tonight, but he's been brutal. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. His first. I'll tell you what, you have to be excited about Jonathan Isaac. Whenever he's on the floor, he makes an impact on both things on the floor. You know, the main thing for Jonathan Isaac is his health. Seems like whenever he gets healthy, he ends up getting hurt again. Guy's been through a lot. He's had to battle through a number of injuries. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously frustrating for him, I'm sure. But he's still got youth on his side. So here's hoping he can remain healthy and reach his potential. Pass 
And he knocks down the first one. And the Magic making a change here. Bamba's checked in. Brooks, he's checked in for Memphis. Melton comes in for Bain. Both free throws good from Isaac. For Memphis, they've gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Anthony against Moran. Down low. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Conchar, he's checked in for Memphis. Grizzly substitution. John Conchar. The Magic shooting only 36% during the second. Outside Fultz. Here's Conchar. Clark left side. Melton outside. And he drives in. From deep, Morant. Gets the three ball to go. Morant. Morant's got 13. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Anthony with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. To the left wing. Here's Bamba. Conchar pulls it in. The Grizzlies have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. To the paint. Back to Tillman. It's rebounded by Wagner. Wagner's got six rebounds here. Tonight. Harris is checked in for Orlando. Adams checked in for Memphis. Jones comes in for John Morant. Well, Orlando shooting just around 26% for the game. Pass to Bamba. Isaac with it. Clark covers. Here's Anthony. Oh, he's finally able to knock one down. And here's Jones. He's averaging almost five points a game. Adams, the pass to Melton. Releases. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting it to work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. At the line for Orlando, Ron Wagner taking two shots. And he drops it first. Trying their best to catch up. Can't fault their performance from the line, especially this quarter. Wagner's checked in for Isaac. Culver, he's checked in for Memphis. That one misses, so he goes one for two. For Memphis, they've gotten seven shots out of 14 attempts in the second quarter. Clark, left side. Pass to Adams. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Adams has got eight. Adams has run these screen and rolls countless times. Great job getting to the right spot. Anthony against Melton. Yes! Oh, sweet! Oh, oh, my goodness! Anthony! Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? Melton passes to Adams. And it's Demon. slammed in by Adams. 
He's a power player. That's a grown man move by Steven Adams. The Magic shooting just around 39% in the second quarter. From the right block, count that one. Anthony's got six points in the quarter. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Pass to Conchar. To the right side. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Clark with it. Wagner's on it. Just five to shoot. Launches it. Here's Adams. Second chance effort. And that's two points Steven on the layup. Adams. 12 points for him. Big man plays by Steven Adams. Using all of his height to dominate the offensive of glass and end the play. Three-pointer Anthony. The Grizzlies pull it in. Adams has got rebound number seven tonight. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dubbed this hole. Good decision making. Sculpts the situation, puts the pass right on the mark. Here's Anthony. He's got six. The shot, no good. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Culver outside. Here's Conchar. Inside. And stolen by Bamba. Anthony against Melton. Anthony outside. Here's Bamba. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. Memphis has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Oh, he touched it while it was over the oh, cylinder. That's ball. offensive basket interference. And the Magic making a change here. Ross is checked in. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Jackson is checked in. Orlando has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. It's Anthony on the take. And Anthony slams it in. Anthony. I'll tell you. Those finishes are always extra special when they come from your point guard. Oh, forget about his passing. Can we see more dunking? It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo! Steven Adams. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Outside Ross. The three. Here's Harris. Fires in the triple. Great vision there for Ross to find the open man. Now Melton. The three. Sinks the tray. Anthony Melton. Melton's got his second basket of the night. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Steven Adams getting it done for Memphis. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be back after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and even Jeff Smith. A big night so far for Steven Adams. He had 14 points, two assists, and seven rebounds. Kenny, what was your take on Memphis? Well, when you pass the ball the way they have, I mean, this is the kind of scoring that you expect. The guys are holding sync, and the difference is the ball movement. I mean, they're moving the ball around, and it's striking. Check. what do you think about Orlando? Just bad interior defense from them throughout the half. They're getting pushed around, not protecting the rim. Allowing them to look. That's the kind of the I love the so I've had at least 30 by now. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway.